And you know what? It is feeling a lot more like fall out there. And for many of us, the fall season is also mushroom season. I love mushrooms. So, uh, but what about serving wines paired up with your favorite mushroom dishes? Well, we have some ideas for you this morning. Uh, helping us with that is certified sommelier, uh, Leslie Miller. Sommelier. Right? Sommelier. That's Sommelier. Right. Yep. And uh, Chef Alan Burgo, nice to have you here today. So Glad gonna, to be here. We're going to compare mushrooms and wines with the best mushrooms, and yes. I can't wait to get to it. So, uh, first of all, uh, explain what you have prepared here today. Well, first we have a cream of bolete soup. So if you've had a porcini mushroom, that's a type of bolete. The ones I used here are called lacinums, and they grow around Aspen and Birch in Minnesota. Uh, the soup is made with a little bit of onion and some mirepoix. It's pureed with a little cream, and Wait, it's got Becca, some... mirepoix? What is that? Carrot, onion, celery. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's really rich. It has some it caramel notes to it. It does. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Like, I don't even... It looks like it, it's, it's part of the decoration for the table. It's yes, so beautiful. Yes, it is very pretty. Well, mushrooms are totally a wino's best friend. Because there's so many different styles of mushrooms, and you can pair up a number of different grape varietals to go along with a lot of these as well. Um, something as nice and kind of creamy and caramelly, like the soup here, I would suggest a Syrah. Um, mm. So you can really kind of move a Syrah across the globe. You can do anything from Washington State into California. But I like kind of some of the smoky caramel notes that you can pair to something like the soup. Okay, so uh, that's one idea. And mm -hmm. as far as, uh, uh, by, by the way, we should mention that you are opening a new restaurant. Yep. Let's uh, quickly get that in. The Salt Cellar in St. Paul. Steaks and seafood on Cathedral Hill. It's going to be right on the corner of Selby and Western in St. Paul. And we're looking at the, about the third week of November as an as a opening date. Okay, um, so we got a new restaurant. And I'm assuming mushrooms are, uh, you'll find those. They'll be part of the all menu. All over the menu. <laughs> not it's all not, over not the menu. Not part of every uh, entree or. But they, like, they'll be there. They'll right. be there. Okay, uh, so what are some other great wines that pair up with mushrooms? Well, the perfect grape varietal for pairing to mushrooms is always Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir, as the French say, kind of have this soubois or earthy forest floor note to them. Mm -hmm. So I poured us actually a little Pinot here to start. Is well, Lama Valley is? Pinot from Oregon is always a really nice bet because you can pick up some of those floral notes, but also kind of get in a little bit more of that earthy floor note with some bright cherry notes. So I actually paired this to go along with Alan's homemade ravioli. These are probably my favorite. And they're pretty creative, if I do say so myself. So I like to cook things that are gluten-free sometimes. Puff balls get really, really big. So I like to take puffball mushrooms, and I'll peel them. Then I'll cut them into rings with a, a glass or a ring mold. That then is I, a mushroom. Then I fry them. <laughs> and then after I fry them, like I'll brush this with a little bit of egg wash. And then I'll put some cheese in the middle. And then I'll make ravioli, and I'll fry them again. And I like to do them with a little bit of sage butter. Yum. Wow, and I mean, a lot, a lot of people now are gluten free, so this is a pasta that they could eat uh, and, and take in some wine along with that lovely mushroom <laughs> that's right. pasta. Yeah. And All then right. we have kind of one more mushroom here that's a little bit earthy or a little bit bolder. Um, I chose actually a couple of my two favorites right now. Um, this is a Malbec Cabernet, mm. a Cabernet Franc blend from Argentina. It's really big, kind of earthy again, but it has that smoke characteristic and really kind of some peppery spice. So I thought that would and be good. That would be something to pair up with something also bold. A bolder mushroom, yes. So the bold mushroom that we have here, these are pretty much the harbinger of fall. And these are the hen of the woods. There's two different varieties here. This one, the white one, I found under a maple yesterday. And this big, gorgeous guy <laughs> came from under an oak tree. You can see there's still a leaf on it. No kidding. Some acorns. So but you're just foraging in, in, the, uh, in the forest <laughs> for mushrooms. But they are, they're so big <laughs> that you can treat hen of the woods pretty much like a piece of meat. So what I did is I grilled them, and then I marinated them in some garlic and a little chili flake and some fresh herbs, a little thyme, some fresh bay. And they're, uh, they have a, a really rich flavor. I just love looking at that. All right, well, uh, Leslie and Alan, thank you so much for joining us. And I've got yoga and wine, uh, an event coming up, uh, a yoga class on Saturday. Yes. So we'll put up that information on the screen because we have run out of time. Perfect. But uh, again, thank you. And the yes. wine and yoga event, it's Saturday, October 4th. It's from 1 to 3 o'clock if you're interested. The cost is $35 <laughs> per person.
And for more information, you just can go to our website, myfox9.com. And the wine comes after the yoga. It because does. Because doing it yoga does. before, Dangerous. or doing wine before yoga, that yeah, probably wouldn't work out no. so well. <laughs> <laughs> Your downward dog. Exactly. Good.